The number of millionaires in the 56 biggest economies, including the US, the UK, China, has skyrocketed by a staggering 300% from 14.7 million millionaires in 2020 to 58 million millionaires in 2023. And this is according to the recent UBS report. While the definition of rich can be very subjective depending on who you ask, the real question is how can you join this exclusive club? In this video, I'll share 9 assets that are making even the rich richer. Number 1. Digital Assets This includes things like books, blogging, digital courses, content creation and the likes. Now imagine creating something once and selling it millions of times. If it sounds like a dream, the fact is it's happening every single day. JK Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series, is a prime example. With over 500 million copies sold, it's one of the most successful book series of all time. But it's not only books that has the potential to do this. Look at the YouTube channel Miss Rachel. It has racked over 1.5 billion views with our top 10 videos alone. And who can forget Gangnam Style, right? Made a staggering $10 million from just that one song distributed on YouTube and iTunes. The power of digital asset is undeniable. It's infinitely scalable, meaning that you can reach millions of people without the same overhead cost as physical products. Whether it's a book, a course, a vid piece of music, creating valuable content can be a lucrative investment or asset. Number two, intellectual property. Have you ever heard of the name Alfred Fielding or Mark Chevanus? For many people, the answer will be no. But I'm sure you know and you've seen bookable raps, right? These guys are the inventors. This product is an example of how intellectual property can make you very, very rich. Intellectual property includes things like patents, copyrights, and trademarks, and they have different meanings. Patents, for example, protect your ideas and inventions, just like bubble wrap, while copyrights, on the other hand, protect your creative work. These are for the creatives. And trademarks are recognizable words, phrases, symbols, and these things are a big deal. For example, in 2023 alone, Samsung was awarded a total of 6,165 US patents. Now I imagine that someone's full-time job filing in those applications. An example of copyright is the Marvel Studio. These guys negotiated with various studios to reclaim character rights or copyrights of characters like your popular Spider-Man, X-Men, just to build the MCU. While these copyrights or patents in themselves can make you money, they can also be used by others, but when they are used by others, the owners earn revenue in what's called royalties. So that's another source of income from your patents or copyrighted materials. And that's why an author, for example, can become rich overnight, simply because their work can be used for numerous things. For example, Tomi Adeyemi, the author of the best-selling series, Children of Blood and Bones novel have sold millions of copies earning our royalties from the publishers of the book. Also, the book is currently being adapted into a movie which would earn her even more royalties. Now, that's some serious cash. The fact is you can turn your ideas into a source of income too. Number three would be network of contacts. The saying, it is not what you know, but who you know actually holds some truths. Being in the right circle can open up doors to new opportunities and collaborations. You can build your network by attending industry events, you know, things like conferences, workshops, meetups, and you could also join online communities, you know, look for online forums or groups that are related to your field. In today's world, I believe this is actually a fantastic way to connect to people, to learn from them also. And lastly, you could just simply offer your help be generous with your knowledge, like YouTube is a very good platform for that. Be also generous with your time. Offer to mentor others, collaborate on projects, build genuine connections this way. That's the key. The right network will take your business or your career or your idea to the next level. We have talked about digital assets. We've talked about intellectual property and networks, but there is another powerful asset that the rich are using 
to even become richer and that's reputation and brand i'll use the example of footballers footballers for example like david beckham cristiano ronaldo neymar or even Lionel messi have powerful brands attached to their name and that's why companies will pay them millions of pounds to have them to wear their clothes or shoes in a commercial david beckham for example reportedly earns over 40 million dollars annually from endorsements alone and this is years after he has retired from playing football right these footballers can leverage their reputation and brand to even launch their own products cr7 cristiano ronaldo is a prime example with his cr7 brand but there is another aspect of branding that many people overlook the fact that you can buy a white t-shirt for 10 pounds but put a gucci tag on that same white t-shirt and the price jumps to over 400 pounds that's the intangible value that brand brings to a product number five will be commodities commodities are another asset that are making the rich even richer and can make you rich too when you think of commodities think of items like gold art vintage pieces like antique furniture vintage clothing stamps coins toys vintage cars limited edition pieces the list endless just like everything the prices of commodities rise and fall but the game here is to buy pieces that will keep rising in value for example the price of gold and art have been rising for the past 10 years in fact art has actually outperformed the popular s p 500 for a while now there are very few ways individuals can actually invest in commodities one is direct ownership that means that you can physically buy and store certain commodities maybe not oil but things like gold vintage pieces like vintage cars bags watches and stuff like that another is true future contract these are agreements to buy and sell a commodity at a set price on a future date and lastly are etfs etfs stands for exchange traded funds and they allow you to invest in baskets of commodities spreading your risks and potentially benefiting from the price fluctuations and the upside but before you go and spend all your money on any commodity make sure you understand the product that's the key and also the markets that that product is playing in one rule when it comes to investing in anything is to never invest in things that you don't understand the sixth asset is stocks while a lot of assets we have mentioned so far can make you millions of pounds and dollars many times it takes time it takes time to actually build a brand right or to save up to buy commodities like vintage cars but if you have a job today you can spend less than you earn and start buying stocks and shares of companies stocks simply allow you to become a part owned company for example buying apple stocks make you a part of the owners of apple and doing this the right way can quickly allow you to reach financial independence or become rich there are more millionaires from stocks as a result of the internet and investment apps. Just like commodities, make sure you understand the company before you actually buy their stocks. Don't invest because someone on the internet or an online forum or your Uncle Ben says this is the next big thing. Do your research. Number seven is businesses. If buying stocks is like owning a slice of a business, right? Starting your own business means having the whole cake or the whole pie to yourself. Many self-made millionaires and billionaires today actually began with simple ideas. Take the story of Joe Wicks who started as a simple trainer, fitness trainer and built a fitness empire online or Zoe Sog, Zoella who turned a YouTube channel into a thriving brand. Starting your own business allows you to build something from the ground up. It might be tough, but the potential reward and upside very, very huge. Number eight, mutual funds and index funds. These are two very popular investment vehicles. And if you've watched this channel for a while, you know I've spoken about them a lot of time because they have actually helped people build wealth over time. But they are not the same mutual funds pull money from many investors to buy a basket of stocks bonds or other securities they are managed by professionals and offer diversification 
but often come with higher fees. While index funds, on the other hand, are a type of mutual funds, but they are designed to track the performance of a specific market index, for example, the S&P 500, which are the top 500 companies in the US. Index funds are known for their low fees and simplicity, and I absolutely recommend them. Just like the legendary investor Warren Buffett, who also recommends the S&P 500 index funds for most people just because it's a reliable way to build wealth over a long period of time. Investing in mutual funds or index funds allow you to diversify across many companies and industries. And what does that do? It actually reduces the risks of your investments. This approach is particularly powerful, especially if you're new to investing or you don't have the time or you're not confident or you don't have the skills to do the necessary research that it takes to pick individual stocks. The ninth asset that makes the rich even more richer is real estate. Real estate is a significant asset class. Either from renting them or flipping properties, they actually generate substantial passive income and long-term wealth. In fact, real estate has been one of the oldest sources of wealth kings and nobles in the past would hold massive amounts of land and then rent out portion of those lands to commoners to farm and live and then they pay tax and then they give returns back even today people like donald trump or barbara have built their fortunes in real estate but you don't have to be this guy to take advantage of real estate even on a smaller scale investing in, in one or two rental properties or holiday home can actually provide a steady cash flow if done right that's the catch simply because property values tend to increase over time that's offering both income and capital appreciation so there you have it nine asset classes that can make you rich and they are making others rich today whether you are just starting or you're already on your world building journey these assets provide multiple pathways to financial freedom but always remember the key is to diversify and invest in what you understand. To learn more about investing, don't forget to check out our investing playlist in the description or on the screen right now. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay updated on more strategies to build your wealth. Till next time, have a nice one.